My first instinct was that these two pieces would perfectly join. I picked up the maxilla and I picked up the cranium and click. Perfect cranium. What I have here are a 3D print of the specimen. And this, this one is the uh, upper jaw, uh, which was first found. And then um, the rest of the head was uh, found separately. And these two pieces joined perfectly, right, right along the nose, like that. Because it has uh, a number of features that are, some of which are very primitive, um, looking like uh, some of the oldest human ancestors that we have, like Cylandrophus chadensis, others looking more like later Australopithecus, Afarensis, Lucy species. What we found out is that regardless of how many primitive features MRD has that shares with the earlier human uh, ancestors, it also has all of the characters that distinguish Australopithecus anamensis from its putative descendant, Australopithecus afarensis. So based on that, um, we ended up assigning this beautiful specimen to Australopithecus anamensis. MRD is really uh, significant, particularly its assignment to Australopithecus anamensis um, gives us the first glimpse of the total craniofacial morphology of Australopithecus afarensis, uh, anamensis for the first time. But Australopithecus afarensis showed up somewhere around 3.9 or maybe slightly earlier. But the key point here is that afarensis overlapped in time with Australopithecus anamensis. That changed the whole mode of evolution of Australopithecus anamensis and Australopithecus afarensis. So now what we know is that anamensis was probably the ancestor of Australopithecus afarensis, but their relationship was not linear. It was not like anamensis disappeared and Australopithecus afarensis arose, but rather the ancestor, the potential ancestor of Australopithecus anamensis and its descendant Australopithecus afarensis actually overlapped in time, at least for 100,000 years between 3.9 and 3.8 million years ago. So this is a major discovery.